So the other day, that uh, 16 year old kid, he went on TikTok, tried exposing James Charles, you know, for messaging him and texting him. Appropriate things, considering he's only 16 years old. Of course, this is a big issue. Well, James was quick to respond and he has this to say. There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a groomer and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have groomed this person is completely false. Last week, I came across somebody on my Instagram Explorer page, saw that he followed me, and I added him on Snapchat. The next morning, I woke up to several snaps from this person. Being excited, I added him back saying he loved me and, he, and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away and he told me he was 18 so I started flirting back. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be potentially great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had an ulterior motive from the beginning. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the validity of his original age answer and when I asked him to confirm his age once again he admitted he was 16. I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting but he insisted on continuing talking saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this. He started getting upset and at this point I unfriended him. We haven't spoke since. I'm not victim blaming or victimizing myself either, simply sharing what happened and what happened was not okay. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I will now ask to see the ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. Dude, that's what I've been saying from the start. Yesterday when I made my James Charles video, that's literally what I was saying. How come these big influencers, right? They have all these fans begging for their attention. Why are they not asking for like a photo of your ID or something like that to prove your age? I said that about the hype house. Like they allegedly have like younger girls coming to the house or whatever. Why are they not IDing these girls before they enter the house? That like, like what? No one thinks to do that? Think about it. You go to a bar or a nightclub or something, you get ID'd, right? So wouldn't it just make sense? We don't know any of these girls. Maybe we should ID them before they come in the house. Like, especially if you don't know them. And I don't know for a fact, but James Charles does seem like the type of guy where if you told him your real age, like, hey, I'm only 16 years old, I'm sure he would instantly un friend you or block you or whatever i just do not see james charles actually going along with this knowing that he was 16 like, i just don't see that but anyways tell me what you guys think down in the comments follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok where me and my girlfriend post every single day